Hey guys, welcome back to Mo Over the Morleys, your channel for all things caravanning. Getting outdoors with the kids, helping you to get the most from your caravan and inspire you to get away. Today, we are at the Motorhome and Caravan Show at the NEC with the Rugrats. And we're going to have a look around and bring you some highlights from the show. So where are we? So we're in a new caravan. Okay, so where are you Isla? Um, we're in the living room and so we could put some craft stuff in the drawers and some books. Okay. This is the kitchen and this is where we're going to make the food. Okay. And this is the sink. What do you think we might keep on that shelf up there Isla? No, look. Yeah. What do you think we might keep up there? Um, sugar. Like sugar and pepper and salt and vinegar. And sweets and marshmallows and crisps. <laughs> do you want to take us towards the back? So, no, what's at the back, Isla? This is the children's bed. This is the light. Yeah. And this is where the children sleep. And do yeah. you think they're big beds? Yeah. 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 Um, so... Okay. Um, there's windows. This is another table, which they think that you can make a bed out of. And Finley's probably going to sleep in it, because um, this is going to be Livy's bed because I sleep at the top in the old one and this is going to be my bed because Livy sleeps in the, um, on the middle one in that, in the old caravan. Isla, what's one. through that door? Toilet. Um, this is the toilet and bathroom. I don't want and to there's a shower bathroom. in the bathroom. And as you can see, the see toothbrushes in the bathroom. <laughs> Put them down. Put them back. Go. So we've got a toilet and a 49 shower. Tap and a toilet. Okay, and well done, darling. This is where you put the toilet roll. Do that again. And at the front, what have we got? We've got some pretend lavender and a microwave. Is it my turn? Yeah, go on, your turn. Um, this is all my family. And, and, and that's the kitchen. And that's the book bed. And that's the toilet. Okay. The reason for showing you around this caravan, this is the Bailey Phoenix 650. We've got this caravan on loan and we'll be making some content to show you exactly what you can do with this. Isla thinks it should be online, not online. online. <laughs> <laughs> so in the coming weeks we'll be showing you some trips away in this very caravan. So if you've been to the show, you would have been in the caravan that we're using for that. So we are at the Opus stand here in Hall 12 at the NEC um, and whilst our, caravan, whilst our channel is very much about caravans, um, this was certainly something that we saw last year at the show. These folding trailer tents. And um, what you basically get. So the Air Opus comes with several configurations. Um, you've got the standard, the Easy Rider or the Full Monty. And that will vary between the, the different packages you have or varies the, ham, the amount of berths that you have inside the trailer. So this is the Air Opus with the full Monty package. This is actually a 10 berth, so we've got two in the side here. Two there. Two there. Two here. And two behind there. So this has got the cinema package, which I have to say looks pretty cool. Inside they're well equipped, we've got a toilet just here. Have a sink. 
sink. Blown air heating. Microwave. Two burner hob. Fridge. Wrap around leather seating. That looks pretty cool. I do really like these lights. And obviously there is plenty of windows. Also up in the roof as well, you can unzip these. You have a nice skylight there as well, so. Great for stargazing. So the massive running order for the Opus Air is 800 kilos with an MTPLM of up to 1500 kilos. So you're version on, definitely version on the territory of a caravan there. Um, but in its basic configuration, um, you know, you could get away and just pull this behind just, you know, a Golf or Focus or anything really, really small. You haven't got to worry about any restrictions on your license. So we really like these. Um, now new for 2019 is this off-road version. I really, really like this. This features beefed up suspension. It's got bigger tires, much more rugged uh, and ready for outdoors. Probably not gonna be a massive seller in the UK. Um, more likely the Scandinavian market, but we really like this. It's got a couple of nice features. Like Bamboo as well, is that right? Yeah, it looks like it. It looks lovely. Nice little runner. Push it back. External water, or would be, and gas as well. Nice little storage area for brochures. And these cycle carriers, I think, are a standard feature, as is the roof box. Got a much bigger compartment at the front here for storage and the chassis is much longer. It's all that bit longer than the standard open set. So we're on the Eldis stand here. This is the Eldis Explore 304. This was another little caravan that caught our attention um, that we thought we'd show you around. So having a look at the specification, this is a full berth single axle weighing in at a mire of 886 kilos with an MT PLM of 1100. So, as we come in, we have a bunk over the table, which drops down. There's also a ladder attachment as well to fit onto there. What's in there, Kate? Behind uh, you? This is the bathroom. Washroom? Yeah, a wet room, bathroom. Wet room, bathroom. With some neat, nice little hooks actually. Hang your towels on. With a nice cupboard as well. For your toiletries. <coughs> Decent sized bowl and mirror and also with a vent in the roof. In the kitchen we've got a three ring burner. With cover. With cover. Sink with cover. Sink with cover. Worktop. Little worktop flap. What we have here. You've not got a separate oven or grill so it's one or the other. <coughs> nice size fridge with a wardrobe above it. With your table. And then this cool L-shaped lounge. Drop down hatch. That's Kate's nicely demonstrated. It's not a draw. Another little table there. Lighting's good, isn't it? Yeah. Positive catches on all the... I like this long windows. Yeah, it's nice, that window's nice. Yeah. So all in all, we like this little caravan. Yeah, I'd have one. You'd have one? Yeah, I would. I really like it. <laughs> anyway, it's a bit small for us, but hey, we liked it anyway. Caught our eye.
So this is the Adria Adora 623 DT Saba. It's on a twin axle. Uh, specs. MTPLM of 1900 kilos. Oh yes, this is nice, isn't it? <laughs> so this is new. Nice U-shaped lounge. What do you think, Kate? If I could design a caravan, this would be it. U-shaped lounge, fixed bunks, dinette, amazing kitchen, drawers. Positive shut drawers. Nice fridge with a ice box. Can I say one thing that's very probably me and very male? I do like this uh, this LED backlit. It's nice, isn't it? Can, Can we have, have a look at the back? Can we have it? Now what's in this side? Wardrobe. Wow, even that, that's amazing. Is this eight foot? Yeah. You know, these here we tow guys are onto something here, aren't they? They are. <laughs> that wrong, this is TV amazing. point. This is new for the shows. Lovely sized beds as well, big, like, big wide. Big bunks for the kids. Yeah, like Finn could easily fit in one of those. Yeah. Side dinette, which obviously converts Side into dinette. a bed. And? An end bathroom. Oh, God. When can we buy it? <laughs> hey, I've never seen you so enthusiastic about it's a caravan. It's just the layout that I, that I love though. It's the same as that one that I like that they don't make anymore. The Luna. Really and nice not... shower, isn't it? And also with a vent as well. I like the, I like the mirror in the shower. Do you like to watch yourself? I mean, watch. Lathering up. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't do that? It is, isn't it? The bunks are a big, good size actually. They are, they are nice and wide. Max 70 kilos. I think you can't sleep on one. No. Not on the top anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's all good. We like it, don't we? Day two at the uh, NEC today. Um, this morning I'm going to take you through the fresh mini and, and uh, what it consists of and uh, how it works. So we've got the the basic vessel here, which uh, uh, it's got a new lid. It's got a wide opening here, which takes your uh, caravan pump. It's got a tap. It's got an outlet here as well, which allows you to fit a bullcock valve. So this is all supplied in the kit. There's also uh, a stand, like so, a folding stand, which works in principle like this, uh, so very easy to pack away. Once you fit your bowl valve, you pop it onto the stand, like so. And then uh, you obviously put your, your pump into the caravan, connect your hose pipe, like so, and you're all set to go. Because you've got the tap on it as well, you can obviously use that to fill up the dog bowl. You can also use it as a bucket, so you can take this cap and put it on there and take the lid off and use it as a bucket. This all comes obviously as a complete kit with a hose as well. This will be retailing for £65, but we're going to be doing a pre-order deal starting next week for £55. And at the same time, including this insulating jacket, which will obviously wrap around your vessel, and the sleeve that will go around the pump pipe work as well. And that will um, not only keep the water cool in the winter, in the summer months, but also uh, stop the water from freezing in the winter months. So we're going as part of this pre-order deal. We're going to this will normally retail for twenty pounds for this insulating jacket. We're going to include that free as part of this initial pre-order deal of £55. So one thing we didn't realise until as we were just walking past yeah. we, um, where are the kids? In the crash. Yeah, so we, we didn't realise until we were just outside between the halls. Kids were saying they wanted to find a play area and then we happened to walk past 
what looked like a crest, didn't we? Yeah, ball pool. Yeah, ball pool. And we thought, well, why not take him in there? So we're just about to pick him up. Did you have fun, Liv? Yeah. Yeah, what did you do? Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah, what did you do? I made this kite. Yeah, it's very pretty. And that just about brings us to the end of this one. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe if you've not already done so, and we'll see you soon for another video.